Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, whenever we're on the road, there's one thing we can always depend upon. In cities, big and small, you'll find our friends from Dairy Queen. But did you know that there's one DQ location in East Texas that has a very unique distinction, making it well worth a stop on the Texas Bucket List? <laughs> all the miles we drive around Texas, there's something comforting about pulling into a town and seeing that old familiar Texas stop sign. To be a true Texas town, you had to have a church, a bank, and a Dairy Queen. Rob Bell is the owner-operator of five Dairy Queen locations in East Texas, including the store in Henderson, which happens to have a unique distinction of being the oldest DQ in the Lone Star State. How often do people come in here on a pilgrimage to see the oldest DQ in Texas? a lot more than they used to. Rob has come a long way since his days of dipping cones at DQ back in high school. I started at the Dairy Queen in Jacksonville on the day of my senior prom. Did you at least get to go to prom or did you have to work? Gene let me work the day shift, so I got to go to the prom. And oh, good. Yeah, I actually had a date. Oh, that's good too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Since 1950, this DQ has been sitting at the busiest intersection of town, slinging out all sorts of soft serve. While it wasn't the first Dairy Queen in Texas, it is officially the oldest. People are just more nostalgic about it. And uh, I think it just makes them think back to when they were young and, and going to Dairy Queen for the first time because their town had one. This is our favorite place to eat here in Henderson. It means a lot to Henderson to have something like this that we can always depend on. Well, I like the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Dairy Queen first brought their frozen treats to Texas in 1947, making it a part of the Lone Star State lore for 75 years. While not originally from Texas, DQs in the Lone Star State are unique in the sense that they're all individually owned and operated by Texans. And they have unique menu items you won't find anywhere else in the country. You can't get a hunger buster anywhere, a dude anywhere. I uh, can't get T-Brand tacos anywhere but Texas. That's because they were invented here by J.N. Grimes and Ray Morrow. In the mid-60s, uh, they came up with uh, Steak Finger Basket and The Dude, and so they became hits. Gene Brumbelow also owns a few DQ locations in East Texas, and his father-in-law, J.N. Grimes, had a hand in creating some of the food offerings that are only found here. It's unique, and, and it's purely Texan, really. <laughs> Gene owned the oldest DQ in Texas before Rob, and he had the task of bringing the location out of the 50s. We protected the original footprint, but made it a little nicer and cuter. We're proud that this is the oldest Dairy Queen in Texas. We just don't want it to look like it's the oldest Dairy Queen in Texas. But there is one curious component they couldn't get rid of. What is this thing doing here? This is actually the original walk-in cooler that's, uh, you probably heard the term icebox growing yeah. up. This was a ice box. You, they put ice in it wow. to uh, to keep the stuff cold, <laughs> and uh, we decided just to kind of keep it as part of the uh, history of the building. Wow! And how thankful are you? You don't have to use this anymore. Very thankful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very very thankful. I'm not into hauling ice around. <laughs> Opening day of the Dairy Queen. My dad brought me down here. Been coming ever since. Wow. Henderson Mayor Buzz Fullen is full of fond memories about this DQ. I remember the ice cream, a large, tall dip cone. Yeah, that was my main event. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never had one before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> People come back here and try to hug this machine? Occasionally, yeah. <laughs> Another signature of the DQ cone is the Q on top. It's literally trademarked. So how long did it take to learn the cube? Oh, uh, well, when I started, I was only working part-time, so it took probably four or five weekends. Wow, it took some time. Yeah. It's definitely a skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys like have to go through training to do this? We do, we have training for it, and uh, but once you learn it, you remember it. You I got mean, it. Uh, I've really impressed some people in Mexican restaurants with the ice cream machines. <laughs> You know, some of them will say, you ought to work at Dairy Queen, and I'll go, yeah, I guess I should. You know? <laughs> so. Rob makes it look easy, of course. So you have three parts. You have the base, okay. and then what's called the balls, and then the curl. Okay. Base, so, balls, curl. Yes. All right. So, so straight up in there. I'll go a little slower. Than usual. That's the base, and then you do a ball, 
All right. Another ball. And then the tricky part is shut it off. Ooh. Flaming a little. You happy with that one? Yeah. Mine was a little tougher. Shut it off and drop it. Drop tricky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's not bad for your first try. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is, even if you mess up the cue like I did, it still tastes good. It does taste the same. With 75 years of history in Texas and being recognized as the oldest DQ in the Lone Star State, Rob was presented with a special award, a key to the city. You gotta be careful with that. Fits everything but the banks. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mayor. It doesn't fit that. <laughs> so if you ever happen to be in Henderson, visiting the oldest DQ in the state is a great stop on the Texas bucket list because, well, that's what I like about Texas. It's just good to be here in Henderson. It's good to know what we have here, the oldest Dairy Queen in Texas. I'm a proud Texan, and I can't think of anything more Texan than being in the Texas Dairy Queen business.